All right, for this problem, we are given a redox reaction that involves a fluorine half reaction, but the other half reaction is in terms of X, some unknown, and it's the unknown half reaction that we're trying to find the, the, the cell, standard cell potential for, the, for that half reaction. So what we're going to use is we're going to use information about the fluorine half reaction and the overall uh, standard cell potential for the overall reaction to figure out how much is contributed by the X in my unknown. So I'm going to pull out the fluorine half reaction. So I've got F2 goes to 2F minus. That does need a couple of electrons, and I can figure out where the electrons go by balancing the charges. I also can figure out where the electrons go or have help figuring it out by looking at the actual half reaction. So I'm going to come down here to fluorine, and that fluorine half reaction is F2 plus two electrons. I put them on the correct side, goes to 2F minus, and the potential for that half reaction, that ha standard reduction potential, because this is the reduction half reaction, is positive 2.866. Overall, this reaction has a standard cell potential of positive 4.281. So the other half reaction, the half reaction in terms of X, must contribute the rest of that. So 2X goes to 2X plus is my other half reaction. It also needs a couple of electrons to balance it. This is the oxidation half reaction. Can't look it up on the table because I don't know what X is. That's the whole point. And I want to know, if I did look it up on the table, what would be the cell potential of that? Well, this is my unknown, but these two added together get me my total cell potential of 4.281 volts. So 2.866 plus question mark equals 4.281. And so, can't talk and write, 4.281 minus my 2.866 is the cell potential contributed by the X going to X plus half reaction. So punch that in your calculator. Keep three decimal places. I get a positive 1.415 volts. Couple of comments. The fact that I needed two of these to balance with the fluorine does not change the cell potential of that half reaction. This half reaction was written as an oxidation already, so it matched this. If I wanted to know the standard reduction potential, if I need X plus plus an electron goes to X, and I want to know the standard cell potential for that half reaction, that would be negative 1.415 volts because once I found the cell potential of the X going to X plus plus an electron, reversing that reaction changes the sign. So there are a couple of twists I can put on this question but that's how you do it, by figuring out from the half reaction you can look up on the table and the total cell potential.